Welcome back to another video. In this episode, I will create the secondary disk image for the Sunrise IDE. We're going to make partitions on this disk image as well. We have a second disk image. We can make the slave. We go to file again, hard disk, insert new disk image. We're going to call this one HD2 slave and also 200 megabytes. The next getting started guide uses a disk image of 100 megabytes, but you see it detects two hard drives, but one still isn't partitioned. We call F disk again. Do this a lot. We press 1 because it's the Sunrise IDE. When we press 2 for the second slot on the IDE. It is also a size of 200 megabytes. Press 1. Now I have to select the right settings I want to use. We press P, partition. We're going to use 185 megabytes and then we do the rest a add one fifteen megabytes partition a the right partitions to disk we do that we press w whatever yes restart now with restarting this, we now have three drives we can access. We have A. A is our master HD, the primary. Then we have B. It's empty. But it's larger and that's our slave hard disk. And it's got 189 megabytes. FAT 16. And then we have C still. Oh. That's our Nexter disk. What we can do is we can also install Nexter sys and command 2 on the B drive if you want to. I uh, yeah, I'm going to do that too. Copy C Nexter dot sys to B Copy C command two dot com to B that's how we can set up our MSX that's it for this tutorial so far we now have a blue MSX with IDE Sunrise two hard disks of 200 megabytes that we can use in the open MSX that's it for this video in the next video We'll move over to the Open MSX and start configuring our other devices. Bye.